It's a bad day. My drink is sweating. Where do I put this so that it won't be seen like in the camera? It's that time of the year and all the XXL freshman freestyles have been released. And just like I did last year, I'm just gonna be telling you who I thought was the best and who I thought was the worst in 2018's XXL freshman list. This is basically gonna be in order from worst to best or best to worst but I'm gonna start with the worst. Keep in mind, I thought that this year's XXL freshman list was decent in comparison to last year, where I really felt like I was struggling to find a reason to place anyone at a certain spot. So coming in at the bottom at number nine, I, I gotta put Black Boy JB. Just like I thought his performance with Drake on Look Alive was pretty lackluster and pretty, uh, pretty bare minimum, I thought the same thing about this. I just thought it was low effort, really nothing put into it low energy tone wasn't interesting uh took really no care when it came to his technical aspects uh, as a rapper i just didn't feel like he tried at all basically like there was no effort i felt like he wasn't trying to make like a song out of it i didn't really hear like a melody it just felt like he showed up because he knew that this was something that he had to do and that's okay you know i'm not trashing him like as an artist for that but i'm just saying like showcasing yourself for the first time on this platform you might want to liven it up a little bit you know he's cool and everything with the shades chilling in the bag you know nothing really going on nothing wrong with that it's just not interesting it doesn't get you invested in anything it's just kind of blah spot number eight i got smoke perp another person that was very boring in delivering his freestyle the uh, only thing that made him a little bit better than Black Boy JB was the fact that he at least tried to make a little bit of a melody out of it, added some ad libs, tried to make a bit of a song out of it. Uh, I, I find that artists like Smoke Perp, who kind of rely on the hype factor of their music, uh, they don't really have to have that much when it comes to lyrical detail. They just need to make something interesting or entertaining out of it. And I felt like he did. Uh, I feel like if you can't really freestyle or rap that well, then try to make a song out of it. Why not? But he was another artist that I just felt like didn't want to be there. I felt like he just showed up because he knew this was just a part of, you know, just another technicality that he has to get through in order to go back home. Maybe that's what it was. I just didn't feel any energy or any interest in his freestyle. I just felt like blah another one i'm literally leaking uh then we get to steflon don who's not bad right keep in mind this isn't this is more so like my first introduction to her and how she raps so i don't know if this is how she is in most of her music anybody who's a steflon don fan shit on me in the comments because i have no idea but the way she came across in this freestyle was as though she was trying really hard um at some points it kind of felt like she was like the uk female dave east her delivery was so abrasive and so hard and don't get me wrong there's nothing wrong with that but since i don't know of her it was kind of like being handed my mixtape by an overzealous uh, soundcloud rapper i didn't really feel like her energy was authentic i just felt like it was kind of forced to kind of make people acknowledge her that people who didn't know about her before maybe she knows that not a lot of people know of her so she felt like she had to come harder with her delivery when she did get up uh, up there to do her freestyle but to me it just didn't come across as like authentic energy it felt like very forced and very inserted she might be a great rapper in her songs i just didn't feel like it naturally flowed out of her on her freestyle it just came across as very janky at spot number six i'm gonna put low pump uh low pump actually gave me the performance i kind of expected from a kid about 17 or 18 years old uh, it's actually kind of funny that most of what he raps about is like fucking women and getting money and, you know, coming and doing drugs and, you know, all this other stuff. You would expect him to be a little bit more confident with his delivery as he's, you know, on there giving his freestyle, but he really wasn't. He seemed kind of, uh, kind of reserved, a little bit more hands over the face so i don't really want to be seen kind of like a shy schoolgirl. and like i said i understand that he's young but that was actually one of my highlights that i'm going to mention later about why be in the mirror it just felt like little pump was afraid you know he got like camera shy or or, or stage fright uh, when it comes to his lyrics and when it comes to his uh you know his freestyle i wasn't expecting anything major at all i just wanted him to do something that he was familiar with something that was entertaining it felt kind of like an escadet part two just like without the production it kind of just felt like a song format uh, Lil Pump doing what he knows. He actually inserted some of the lyrics that he's already thrown around in his songs in his freestyle. So if you're expecting anything major from Lil Pump at this point, you really are being unrealistic. But in my view, when I looked at what he had to deliver, what he had to offer, I didn't mind a skit it. 
Um, so I didn't mind him kind of like redoing that energy for his freestyle. I just thought he was a little bit too reserved. Still leaking. Uh, next, we got Trippy Red, uh, whose freestyle wasn't bad. Delivery made him feel like he was offering these lines that were more poignant, and they really weren't. Like, I felt like he was doing... I felt like I felt like Trippy thought or felt like he was doing better than he actually was because of how confident he was in delivering his verse or his freestyle. Uh, the only thing is when you got into the lyrics of what he was actually saying and compared it to the other uh, to the other artists who were actually kind of effortlessly flowing out with their lines, his seemed kind of forced. His seemed kind of his lyrically seemed kind of lackluster in comparison. So that's really why he got the number five spot. He may have placed higher if the other artists weren't so effortless with their uh, delivery. You know, if they didn't seem as though they were just flowing out naturally. Some of his lines aren't really that clever. It's just kind of like you're saying things that we've all kind of you know thought in our head at one point without even being a rapper i mean she gave me brain you know that's a brainstorm or whatever like it, it, it you know it I'm, I'm not expecting major things from trippy either but i feel like he holds himself to a higher regard than maybe a little pump and since i know he's capable of delivering lyrics i was a little disappointed with his freestyle uh, at number four i'm gonna put wi-fi's funeral uh, he was actually better than I thought he'd be, uh, considering I didn't really like his first, well not his first, but the initial tape that I uh, reviewed back in 2017, uh, When Hell Falls, I believe that was the name of it. I wasn't really impressed by a lot of what he was doing on that tape, and so coming around to this freestyle, I wasn't gonna, you know, I wasn't expecting anything major, but he actually did give me a bit of a song structure. Uh, the way he uses his ad libs comes across very natural. It didn't feel like he was forcing them in there. It felt like he made his freestyle a uh, song format as well. Most of the people that I see uh, that have done their freestyle seem to have made their freestyle based on how they would normally make a song. Uh, Wi-Fi, in my opinion, is a little bit more lyrical than a lot of his contemporaries. When you compare him to somebody like a Block Boy or a Lil Pump, Wi-Fi's funeral kind of stands out in that regard. I feel like he's a little bit more cautious with what he says, um, but I do feel like that 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 cautious behavior kind of stiffens him up a little bit. I can tell at one point he instantly repeats the lines uh, near the end of his freestyle. Uh, because I feel like he kind of cornered himself into saying exactly what he said during his freestyle and didn't allow himself to think anywhere beyond that. So he kind of, you know, stiffened up and he just repeated himself at the end. You know, maybe he thought a little bit too much about it. Uh, at spot number three, I'm going to put YB in the mirror. Uh, YB in the mirror actually surprised me as far as his delivery is concerned. When I compare someone like Lil Pump and YB in the mirror, who are around the same age, I look at them both and I look at how different their deliveries actually were. I look at the difference in subject matter uh, of what they were rapping about. Uh, YB and Demir seem to be a little bit more goal oriented, a little bit more focused, a little bit more realistic and a little bit less uh, scatterbrained, a little bit less blonde haired, I guess you could say. Him being a younger uh, artist, you know, I kind of wasn't expecting him to talk about what he talked about. One of the things that held me back from really loving it was the fact that I felt like his flow uh, and the way he kind of made his freestyle kind of centered around like this Detroit or maybe um, this this uh, new wave or new style LA flow. It's a style of rapping that maybe like you get from uh, SOBX RBE or maybe a T Grizzly, which I don't really mind. It just kind of saps from his versatility or his technical rapping ability. But I'm really not being too harsh on him because again, as a 17 or 18 year old kid, I don't know actually how old he is. I think he's around, like I said, a little pump's age. I just feel like it comes out very natural. His body motions were fluid. He seemed to be comfortable up there. At spot number two, we got Ski Master Slump Guy, one of the best rappers uh, out of the lineup this year. Uh, technical rapping ability. He actually stops himself at multiple moments as if he's been practicing these flows for years and years and he's just kind of doing it in front of people for the first time. Now, while I do think he's practiced and rehearsed to this extent, I just think when he gets going, there's like nothing that can stop him. Maybe he does stop and, and kind of ruin the momentum of his freestyle by completely switching up his flow to do something entirely different. But I just feel like when it comes out, he's like a, I don't know, he, he is a stream of consciousness, consciousness to an extent, but one that actually displays nothing but good content. While his lyrics are far from introspective or deep, he is aware of that and he kind of moves along with it accordingly. You just wouldn't expect a rapper who's as good technically as he is to kind of be 
uh, rapping about subject matter as stupid as he usually raps about. But that's what kind of makes his uh, freestyle a little bit more fun. And finally, I got Jid at number one. You all knew that that was going to happen. I knew that he would likely take the number one spot before I even saw any of the freestyles. I've been on Jid since 2017 since he dropped the Never Story back in March. So I was extremely excited to see him on the lineup this year. And I was extremely excited to see his freestyle. Uh, a lot of good lines. Uh, one of my favorites in particular being his 9 to 5 line where he talks about how his brother showed him his 9 when he was 5 and he called it a 9 to 5. His freestyle was actually very reminiscent of uh, the message I got from him on the Never Story which was this kind of situation, me coming up wouldn't be possible in the area that I'm from. So that's why it's called the Never Story because it never happened. His cadence and vocal inflections and his flow, the design, the way he's uh, kind of shifted the way he delivers certain lines and is centered around an important topic or uh, subject matter that can be deemed a little bit more serious i just feel like the complexity of his freestyle is what makes me enjoy it so much and i'm especially giving this spot to him because out of everyone i think he had the longest freestyle and gave the most out of it i would think it would be more difficult to fill up that amount of time with enough content to be as entertaining for not only one but two minutes is great but that's my double xl 2018 freshman freestyles from the worst artist to the best artist from who gave me the least to who gave me the most just because i put certain artists like i said at the bottom doesn't mean that they had nothing to offer it's just out of everyone here i just felt like you know they deserved the worst and certain artists deserve the best or closer to it. but that's me thank you for watching um drake album drops tomorrow finally uh, i would do it tonight but Man's got a headache. Man's not hot today. But I'm excited for it. I wonder where Drake would rank on this freshman list. Let's just end the video now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time. And I'm out. Peace. Never double hand the mic again.